Africa, a country full of potential and hope. A land of beauty and majesty. A rainbow nation of cultures and people. But there is a dark shadow over our land, a growing menace, the extent of which is still unknown. Over 685,000 women die of breast and cervical cancer annually worldwide, 80% of which are from developing nations. Statistics in South Africa are inexact at best, a disaster at worst. There are approximately 25 and a half million women in South Africa, but due to the lack of a national cancer control plan or working national cancer registry, we estimate that over 70% of breast cancer cases go unreported. But the lack of any statistics means that no one knows the extent of the problem. The objectives of Pink Drive is to support the women of our country who need help, support and education because if breast cancer is detected early, the chances of it being beaten are good. Pink Drive, a cause marketing fundraisers initiative, work closely with both local and regional government to identify areas where there are no mammography facilities available. Free mammograms are offered to women without medical insurance. The heartbeat of the national health insurance, the new health care system, is going to be primary health care, meaning prevention of diseases and promotion of health. And Pink Drive is doing exactly that, so you are already ahead of us in what you want to do. And so we are going to work with you uh, in a way we have never done before. I think Pink Drive is, is very unique in terms of you know the way it has grown over the years, um, its outreach, uh, and, and its very clear focus. You know, systematic. Uh, you know, from an initial specific focus on breast cancer, which is indeed one of the major killers uh, amongst the cancers. You know, uh, in the in the in the country and in the world, and and also using that as a base. Uh, to educate people about uh, cervical cancer, about prostate cancer and all that. So, so we, we see Pink Drive as, as really a very well-organized, well-focused and therefore, you know, it's, 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 it's an, uh, an organization which we would like many others out there, non-governmental organizations, to emulate. Our business is about strengthening families. And initiatives such as these are not only for health. They are actually for us as social development more important because we have a responsibility to have strong families, healthy families, because when they are strong and healthy, they are able to work and assist us in combating poverty. But also we would like the track to follow our public engagement so that when we go into communities to do community dialogues, it's not only about talking to communities, it's also about getting the pink circus in town. What we've managed to achieve today is bridging the gap between you know, public sector and private sector. I think that's awesome. You know? We really will only solve South Africa's health issues if we, really, you know, if we start to create these bridges. And I see Pink Drive as one of those bridges. You know? So it just quickly bridged this gap that existed between private and public. And so for me, I think the work that Nolene and the guys and the team is doing is awesome. And it provides us that bridge and platform so where we can actually get around the table to solving you know, the real problems of, of the average South African citizen. It's always been a dynamic crowd, a dynamic bunch behind the scenes, ably driven by Nolene. And we know she's a real uh, on-the-go lady, but I think that's been the success of it. Uh, one of the other options that they're doing this year, they're going to be taking refreshment points on routes uh, as well. So uh, you can certainly, I know the runners on the day will be able to experience a, a real live, vibey atmosphere on the road. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of pink around on the people in the trees, all that sort of thing. So those are the sort of things that the runners, it gives them a little bit of a morale boost and a lift. And, uh, I have approved some special kit to be made that was made that will be allowed to be used by our runners who choose to run for the pink drive on the day. And I think that's important from our point as race organisers that we can obviously support and, and, uh, those initiatives uh, and help the charities raise the, the funding that they require. Pink Drive being one of the six official AMA BDBD charities of the Comrades Marathon Association, activating in this most beautiful, colourful way, the way in which the charities, especially Pink Drive, if I can say over-activates, adds the sense of dynamism and colour and vibrance to the expo. I think it's just phenomenal. Well, interestingly enough, it was Nolene who we used at one of our sponsors' conference three years ago, as it happens, 
to illustrate to sponsors and to potential charities how it is done. Nolene was probably one of the first people in South Africa who understood that if you wanted to generate money, you actually had to get in and market your, your product, market your charity, not just go out and stick your hand out and ask for, for stuff. Uh, she's been incredibly dynamic with Pink Drive in driving that message not only to do the cycle tour, but sporting events around the country. And it was that energy that enabled us to show other charities exactly how it was done. I really believe in what you guys are doing. Um, you guys are doing such a great job, and I see you in action. I see you doing um, for the community um, every day, and great work. And I, I just want to be part of it, and I just want to support you. Having Pink Drive here at our school today uh, was another uh, very positive uh, move. Pink Drive has really made sure that uh, they take our learners through. Our learners listened as they gave them uh, all the information about cancer. Uh, they also gave them some lessons as to how they can even check themselves uh, whether they have cancer or not, based on what these learners got today. I believe they might even go home and teach their parents or their family members how to check uh, whether you are okay or not okay. Uh, I think uh, Pink Drive has given us good lessons today, which uh, are very beneficial to everyone. The Pink Drive is uh, bringing awareness to people to live and eat healthy. The whole lesson was life skills to us because we deal with healthy living and exercises. It's part of PE. I did not know there are so many poisons in a cigarette. Do you think it's cool to smoke? No. no. Remember, today we learned a lot. We learned how to be sun smart. We learned about healthy food choices. We learned about exercise. And we learned about the dangers of smoking. Are you going to make a smart choice? This activation is a, a, a very beautiful and a responsible program in, in ensuring that there is an assistance from both the community, the private sector and the taxi industry uh, on, on government service delivery. Well, the reaction is very, is very good. If you can just uh, see here, the atmosphere is good. Everything, I think, is it's actually uh, going uh, very well. It is very important that we keep on speaking to each other. The Pink Drive sees members of the public and then selects patients to come to the hospital. On the other hand, Pink Drive must be able to rely that uh, I open my gate and I'm available to, 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 to see these patients and to deal with those patients. As far as we are concerned, whatever Pink Drive does is world class. They are doing their absolute best to get the message out there. I think this is the best that could happen to our community, especially in, in a place like this, in a taxi rank commuters, where these people cannot hear about awareness and get an opportunity of knowing about cancer and getting tested. As you see, many people are coming, commuters and taxi drivers. It's a, it's a great initiative. One unit is currently doing 20 public sector hospitals work. We educate over 200 women a day and men in communities around the country. So it's corporate South Africa and I think most importantly the people that have made this a, a success. It's the community people gleaning to be educated. They want to know. Bottom line, our message is early detection will save your life. Some of us, we don't know whether we have cancer or we don't have cancer. It's nice when you're here at a taxi rank, Barra taxi rank, because everyone, uh, when they go to town, everywhere, they come here to take a taxi. You see the queue is long, people are going to test. I'm so happy. I said, keep it up. Very happy because I was lazy to go to the hospital. I want to take my breath for cancer. It's wise to start early and, and get your treatment. 